Okay, now what we're going to move into is what we call a regular flip, regular flip drill. Now, coach, my assistant coach here is going to flip to Grayson, and he's just going to do regular flip drills. And many coaches are aware of these drills. We all do them, and, uh, but nevertheless, this is a great drill for young players. Now, the one difference we may be seeing here now with the way we're teaching the drill is that we do keep the tee here. Again, the reason is, is we're trying to take that loop out of the swing. We want Grayson to try and hit the top half to the middle of the baseball. If he hits, if at any time when coach flips him the ball, he hits the tee, he has immediate feedback that he had a loop in his swing. And that's one thing you do not want. It's the one clear thing in teaching swing mechanics. You do not want the loop in your swing. Now that's why we keep the tee here during these drills. So coach, if you'll go ahead and flip Grayson, these are some regular, uh, what we just call regular flip drills. And he's gonna be using, of course, both hands on the bat. He'll have a little trigger stride and you should see the swing, everything working together now. Okay, good. Notice a good hip rotation. Grayson has good, excellent hip rotation here. Trigger, he'll trigger. And then his little stride makes good contact. Now Grayson, for 10 years old, has very excellent hip rotation, which is uh, a lot of times we get college players, when they come to us, they still do not have good hip rotation. It's one of the things that we have to work with even college players. But Grayson, having been in our school now for two years, if anything, he does have excellent hip rotation. Okay, coach, we're going to move now, and we have a drill that we call a two-ball drill. Now, what coach is going to do, he's going to flip Grayson two baseballs. There's going to be two baseballs, and he's going to have baseballs held so that one ball is on top of the other ball. Now, when he tosses the ball to Grayson, Grayson's going to trigger, stride, and swing, but as he get, right as coach tosses the ball, I'm going to yell top or bottom. Now, normally, of course, if, if a coach was working with his player, the coach that is flipping the balls, he would call top or bottom. But I'm going to yell top or bottom here. And Grayson then, if the camera will uh, get right in on the balls, if I say top, hopefully Grayson will hit the top ball. And if coach does a good job of flipping them, one ball will clearly be on top of the other ball. Now, you know, we're, you know, we're human beings, and sometimes we don't get the, just the perfect toss here. But we're going to try. Coach, if you'll flip it now, and we'll have a top and bottom, and we're ready to go. Top. Got it, didn't he? Excellent. Okay, here we go. Ready? Top. Now, I think you were anticipating bottom that time, Grayson. So here we go. Top. Good. Good. There we go. Again. Bottom. Good. Excellent. Here we go. Let's do this one more time. We like this drill. Bottom. Good. Okay, here we go. Let's do one more, Coach. He's having good success with this drill. Let's go. Top. Good. That's excellent, Grayson. Excellent.